Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe will visit the United States next month, and one of the main topics to do on the, his to-do list is to address U.S. Congress. If he's granted permission to speak, the Japanese leader will likely uh, be pressured to address Japan's wartime atrocities during his speech. Connie Kim reports. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is waiting for the green light to address U.S. Congress when he visits Washington later this spring. Diplomatic sources in Washington say lawmakers are generally in favor of Abe delivering a speech. But House Speaker John Boehner, who has sole authority on whether or not to invite Abe, has yet to make a decision. Now, if the speech is confirmed, some U.S. lawmakers are likely to demand that Abe devote some of his speech to apologizing for Japan's wartime atrocities. And at the forefront of this movement is Representative Mike Honda, who introduced a resolution to the House about the victims of Japan's wartime system of sex slavery. Honda said the opportunity would be a high privilege and called on Abe to use the podium to acknowledge that Japan systematically kidnapped women and girls during war and apologized for its actions. You may refer to the Kono statement, but let's be real clear. Kono's statement was done by Deputy Secretary of the Cabinet. Uh, he is not the leader of the country. But with concerns, Abe will use a speech to promote Japan as a peace-loving nation post-Second World War. Many Korean-American organizations are campaigning against giving Abe such a high-profile stage. In 2006, former committee chairman Henry Hyde put a halt on then-Japanese Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi's drive to address the Congress amid strong protests by civic groups. Connie Kim, Arirang News.